of judges from Singapore. That's the code I couldn't think of earlier on. Bosnia and Herzegovina, Ireland, Taipei and Poland. So Talapova of Kazakhstan in the red, Levchuk of Ukraine in the blue. Yasosina of Turkey in charge of this one. So Talapova, as you can see there, is, is the bigger athlete out of these two. By some Round distance. One. And looks for the jab. You'd imagine that that will be key. She's chopping down with that jab, with that one-two, she will be, but... She stands up quite tall. Levchuk boxes out of more of a crouch, so that even further exaggerates the the height differential between them. Talapova looking to try and use that right hand. She really is having to chop down, which sometimes isn't the easiest thing in the world to do, getting used to punching down. Typically, it's probably what she does have to do. Maybe not quite as much as this. Decent looking one-two there from Talapova. Levchuk just a bit laboured with that right hand. Her problem is going to be getting close enough to land. If she keeps throwing that jab, right hand Talapova it's going to be very difficult for Levchuk to get close enough to it that was a good right there from Talapova nice jab to and this is very difficult for Levchuk very difficult because the only way she's going to be able to get close enough by the look of it, is if she just manages to walk through some quite solid shots. That's really the only method she can use here. She doesn't move ahead on the way in. She just dipped away to the right-hand side a little bit there as she threw the jab to the body or tried to. Talapova is just able to pick her off. She's doing the right thing. She's not going crazy, the Kazakh fighter, looking to wind up and land huge bombs. She's just landing, and that's, that's the way forward here. Good jab there. From Talapova. There's the jab again from Talapova. And she's winning this opening round at a canter. Solid right hand. She just stepped in a little bit more with that one. Got slightly closer. And again there, uh, I think she's realising now that she can maybe be a little bit more expansive and look to put more power on these shots rather than keep it completely on the outside. She's able just to step in, take up that little bit of space and attack at mid-range. On a few seconds of round one. Good right hand again there. Comprehensive round win there for Talipova. Ten eights across the board, and you can't really argue with that. It's target practice to an extent, because, as I say, Levchuk's, Levchuk is certainly game. She's got spirit because she's continuing to come forward, but she finds it quite hard to move ahead on the way in. She's got that guard up tight, and Talapova really has got a fairly easy target to hit there. Seconds out, please. That was towards the end of the round where she decided just to step in. Round two. And throw that right hand with, with a bit more power. Using the uppercut rather than just a straight right. There it is again. 
I think she fancies going after this a bit in the second round, Talipova. I think she, maybe she feels that... She could get the stoppage here, I think, but the uh, head guard needs a slight adjustment before we go on. She's quite circumspect in that opening round, Talapova, but it would appear that she's had a look, realised there isn't a lot to fear here. And he's going to set about Levchuk a bit more. Levchuk keeps rolling forward. There's the jab again. One, two. One thing you could say for Levchuk here, though, is because she is just always coming forward, she is making Talipova throw quite a lot of punches for a, for a heavyweight. It's just possible in the second half of this round, maybe in the final minute of this round, that the Ukrainian could be able just to start to get to her opponent a touch. Got into good distance there, but then just didn't quite let her hands go. Right to the body there from Talapova, who's winning this round comfortably at the minute. Winning it comfortably still, but... As I said, Levchuk, again, just walking across the ring there. Still just walking her down, walking forward. She's made Talapova work hard for a heavyweight. Has she got anything left herself if she does get into range? That's the question, really. Buffeted back by the jab there, Levchuk. And by the right hand, standing count. Standing count. And that maybe answers my question because she got up to, to reasonable range there, Levchuk. She was within range. But then there was just no pop on her shots and the referee has decided to, to stop this one. I think he realised that realistically all that awaited Victoria Levchuk there was, was further punishment. He didn't feel, I would imagine, that she had any chance of winning the fight from there. And... When that's the situation, you make the call, and that's exactly what he's done. So Talapova goes through. RSC, referee stops contest. In the second. She's got the tools, Talapova. She's tall, she throws a decent one-two, throws a decent jab. Wasn't really tested out there by, by Levchuk. And she's guaranteed a bronze medal. Ladies and gentlemen, in bout number 240, ring being win by RSC in the second round from the red corner, Yerdana Talipova, Kazakhstan. Talipova of Kazakhstan goes through, so she will meet. Daria Kozarez of Moldov Moldova in the semi-finals. That'll be on Tuesday, the afternoon session on Tuesday. <laughs> 